Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In previous video, we have seen what is Microsoft Streams, how we can manage it in admin center of streams and we have also seen its few features. Now on this video, we'll see how we can upload videos on Microsoft Streams. So guys, without any delay, let's get started. Okay friends, so I have logged into Office 365. Now I will click on App Launcher. Now I will click on this three dot and I will click on Open in New tab. So it will directly navigate me to Microsoft Stream. So this is our Microsoft Stream. So you can see it's saying Welcome to Microsoft Stream. So you can upload your first video. If you are new to Microsoft Stream, you can create a live event. You can see how you can do that. You can securely upload a video. You can find a content or you can create a channel and groups. So if you have any confusion, you can click on this link to see how it actually works. So I've already discussed all these tabs in my previous video. So if you haven't watched my previous video, then go and watch it out. So now let's start with uploading a video. So to upload a video, we'll click on this tab of create and now we'll click on upload video. So you can see it's saying like drag a files here. So if you have open any folder, so you can simply drag the file of your video over here or you can either browse it. So we'll click on browse to so browse the upload. Now let me upload a video. I have two videos to upload. So first of all, I will upload my video of intro video. This is my channel intro video. So you can see it is uploading. So you can enter the name of a video. So by default name will be the same of the file you will save. You can change it if you want to change in the description. You can enter the description of the video like we do for YouTube. So I will enter the description. So as you can see, I have at entered the description. This is my intro video of channel CapTech Pro. Now in the settings, you can change this video language settings. So we'll switch to English only. So you can upload the thumbnail by clicking on this plus button. You can upload any thumbnail which you have created. So by if you will not upload any thumbnail by default, the starting screen of your video will be your thumbnail. So I will leave it as it is. Now click on permissions. So in the permissions, you can see allow everyone in your company to view this video. So if you check this box, so everyone will be allowed. So if you want a specific group of people, you can select the people. You can enter the name manually whom you want to see this video. You can select the channels. You can allow a specific group of people to watch this video. So it's up to you. You can set the permission. So we'll leave it by default. We'll select allow everyone in the company to view this video. So you can see in the viewers, we have added Rachit, who is the owner. Now let's click on options. So if you want other people of the organization to comment on your video, you can turn it on. Or if you don't want, you can simply just turn it off. Now we have a noise suppression. So you can on it if you want and else you can turn it off. Then we have a captions which are auto generated. So if you want the captions in your video, you can check this box. If you want to disable it, just simply uncheck the box. Then for the specific video, you have a subtitles written. So you can upload the subtitle file by clicking on this link. If you want a translation, so you can select the language whom you want to get translated and then simply click on OK. Then after modifying the setting, just simply click on publish to publish the video. So you can see our video is now published. You can share it by clicking on this link as well. So it will navigate you to over here. This is our direct link to video. You can send this link to anyone, right? Let's upload one more video. Let me do it quickly. So friends, now I have uploaded two videos to watch the videos which I have uploaded. I will click on my content and now I will click on videos. So in videos, you can see I have uploaded an intro video and then I have uploaded end screen as well. So if you have a number of videos, you can search your video by clicking over here. You can search the name of the video and it will be listed in the top. Say for example, you have hundred of videos over here and if you will type end screen and if you search for it, so you will see the result of end screen, right? You can sort the video according to your choice. These are the option by which you can filter the video like the published video. If you will click the published one, so you will see the video which are already published. This is a privacy option. So by using these all features, you can sort the video. And then we have a visibility of organization like these videos are visible to organization. You can add this video to your watch list. You can also add a group or a channel to this video. You can still you can update the video details if you want. Then we are, you can click on three dots to share this video. You can replace the video. You can also delete this video or you can trim the video if you want. Like this video is of 30 seconds. If you want 
a specific part to be cut down so you can trim that as well or also you can download the video in your pc or in your laptop so friends after uploading the video you can simply click on the video to watch the video so it will navigate you to watching the video so you can see our video is now started so you can watch the video details like this is my description you can share it from here you can like the video you can upload the video you can update the video settings video details you can replace the video you can click on video settings you can watch it in theater mode so these are the settings which you can modify now we have a comment section you can post a comment and all the comments with the member will be posting will be listed over here you can click on the full screen button to maximize this these are the common settings which which you have seen in youtube as well so now let's talk about how to share the videos so if you will click on the share so you can see this is a direct link to videos you can copy it and paste it on mail or you can simply send it you can see the app if you can directly click on the specific app to share the video then we have a email if you click on email so you can send directly this video to a specific person if i will enter stella so you can see the stella this is he she is a part of organization you can click on send and close to send the video then we have a embed so you can simply copy the embed code or you can share it with anyone right and this is our video size you can modify the size according to yourself and this is the autoplay button if you have multiple videos so this if you will enable it so one after the other video will get play but this is the responsive button and if you will disable it this is the show info of the video so also if you have a video of like 15 minutes 20 minute and you want a specific part to be seen by few number of people so you can also check the box or you can so you can enter the specific minute from where you want a person to watch that video so this is a good feature now we'll click on close so friends by this way you can upload a video on microsoft stream you can set the privacy to whom you want the video to be viewed or shared you can do multiple number of things you can explore more on microsoft streams that's conclude our video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video